we can say that the different areas on this Venn diagram picture represent everything that can happen. For example, let's say this circle. This whole circle is the probability that Jill gets an offer from company A. Uh, and this whole circle is the probability that she gets an offer from company B. And then I guess that means this middle section is getting an offer from both. And, and this crescent area is getting an offer from A, but not from B. And then what's out here? I guess out here is not getting any offer, getting uh, 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 rejected by both company A and B. So before we look at the statements, do we know any values at all? Well, we're not given any, but we do know one. What is everything, what do all the probabilities have to add up to? If this is everything that can happen, then the probabilities have to add up to one. And they're asking, what is the probability that she will get a job from both companies? So that middle section is what we're looking for. So let's look at the statements. Statement number one tells us that the probability that she will get an offer from neither company is 0.3. So we have a 0.3 out in this, this outside section, a 0.3 probability of getting no offers at all. And is that enough to get this middle area? Well, now we know that I guess this this whole weird sort of figure 80 middle section is going to add up to, well, it's one altogether, 0.3 out here. So there's 0.7 left for this whole middle section. But there's all kinds of different ways to get to 0.7 in here, right? It could be, could be 0.1 and 0.1 and 0.5, or it could be 0.1 and 0.5 and 0.1, uh, infinite different ways to, to get values in these three areas to add up to 0.7. So we don't know the middle area. So number one is insufficient. So let's look at statement number two. And I guess that means we have to forget about statement number one and look at statement number two, which tells us that the probability that she will get a job offer from exactly one, exactly one of the companies is 0.5. So what are the exactly one areas? Well, it's not the middle because that's, that's, that's two, not exactly one. Exactly one is just gonna be here where she's getting an offer from A and not from B, and here, getting an offer from B and not from A, and that's it. Those are the only exactly one areas. And now we know that they add up to 0.5. So is that gonna be enough? Well, we've gotta get it to one altogether. We know 0.5 is taken care of between these two areas. But that leaves another 0.5 to be taken care of by two areas, by this outside area and this inside area. And again, all kinds of different ways to get those guys to add up to 0.5. We're not going to know the middle area. So number two is also insufficient. And if we look at them together, we bring back the info from statement number one then we get a, a bunch of info now. And I guess the question is now, can we get a value for the middle? Well, we know we've got to get everything to add up to one. And so far we've got 0.3, and then these two together, another 0.5, which brings us to 0.8. And where are we going to get that remaining 0.2? Well, there's only one prob possibility, right? There's only one way to finish, to get us all the way up to one, and it has to be that middle area. We know that it's 0.2 in there, and that's a value. So together, the statements are sufficient, even though neither is sufficient on its own, and that is answer choice C.